Hi, I'm Kelly from North Shore Eye Care. I'm sitting with Dr. John Morrow. He's one of our ophthalmologists here. And I'm going to ask him a few questions about why he got into ophthalmology. Thank you for taking the time to sit with me. No problem. So, first thing I want to know is, um, what made you decide to become an ophthalmologist? Um, I uh, originally was going to school for pharmacy. Okay. And, um, you know, I started pharmacy school at St. John's. And uh, you know, I went through those courses, and I, around maybe, it's a five-year course, around third or fourth year, I started to realize it wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I started to get into the motions of thinking about going to medical school. Uh, and that's when I started taking over my classes again. And I think for the first time, that's when I really kind of knew what I really wanted to do mm -hmm. in life. So I kind of like, you know, you find that second wind. Right. So I went to medical school and I just originally wanted to be a family practitioner or an internist. And that was the plan. And then when going to medical school, you know, um, you basically are exposed to so many different fields. And then eventually you come across different fields that kind of you express a little interest in. And sometimes the fields um, kind of pique your interest. And then when I fell upon ophthalmology, I spent a few weeks with this local ophthalmologist. We was in the downtown area of Philadelphia. And uh, it was just a whole different meaning. You know, his patients, everything about it, the surgery, uh, the patients. Um, and I think at the end of the day, it was just basically the level of patient satisfaction that um, that he got from his patients just by basically, you know, a lot of doctors, you go to the cardiologist, you treat high blood pressure, you go to an orthopedist, you know, you, broke, you know, fix a broken arm. But I think it was a just different level of patient satisfaction where you have a patient who is legally blind from cataract surgery or are legally blind from a cataract and you do cataract surgery and all of a sudden they can see and it's almost they're just eternally grateful. It was, just, it was very something special and to me that was the, the what was sealed the deal for me is just seeing the level of patient satisfaction from returning vision or restoring someone's sight. Right. You know, and then that's how I got into ophthalmology and uh, that was where the story started. So as a surgeon for LASIK and cataract, um, do you remember very much about your first time performing surgery by yourself? Uh, that was a blur. It was so long ago. Um, I know during training, there are a lot of times, in actuality during training, we go through a very rig vigorous training course during residency mm -hmm. and we perform a lot of surgeries all under the uh, supervision of doctors, uh, trained doctors, professors, and um, you know, basically, you know, all I remember is during the first few surgeries, just making sure that I, you know, I read up on all the surgeries, that I knew what I was doing, um, and you're so nervous, and you get caught up in the moment, and all you care about is making sure you do a really good job, and you want to make sure that nothing goes wrong, and you're so, you're so connected to that point where, you know, I can't even remember what my first surgery was. It was probably something simple like removing a growth on someone's eye. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first few cataracts I've done were usually cataracts that we've done on patients who had very difficult cataracts, um, cataracts that were legally blind, very bad cataracts. And, you know, everybody did very well, but it's like such a blur because, you know, after you've been in this for so long, you know, it's just like you're... It's hard to remember specific details. Right. I do remember certain patients in the beginning of my training. I still stood remember out. them now that stood out because they were so happy and they were, again, just, they will remember you for the rest of their lives because, you know, regardless of whether you were in training or regardless of whether you're an established ophthalmologist, when you restore someone's vision, whether you're doing it on your own or whether the assistance of someone else, mm -hmm. they'll always remember you. And if I see their face, I'll re recognize them like it was yesterday. I can't remember her name, I can't remember their last name right. or certain details, but patients always remember a, a, a doctor and for some reason, they always remember a doctor specifically when you do something such a, uh, on a sort of grand impact. level and you restore their vision. Yeah, you know? it has to be very exciting. I'm sure there's a lot of adrenaline and stuff when you There is, there is, it always is, but that's what keeps you on your toes, mm -hmm. you know, and you always treat every patient the same. You always treat every patient as if they were your family member, and as long as you do that, you always keep you on your toes because you want to make sure that you give the best you can to every patient. As long as you do that, you're you're in pretty good shape. Great. Thanks so much.
If you would like to make an appointment and meet Dr. Morrow, have a consultation, you can contact our office by calling 631-265-8780 and we would be happy to see you.